All right, so today we'll be going through the abstract reasoning section of the GATE exam. So before I go through the questions, I just want to teach you guys one mnemonic that we will teach you at Everest, right? Because we will teach you so many more, right? But I'll give you a little bit, right? So the mnemonic we're going to be looking at is SCANS, okay? That means you guys need to remember this in your head. You need to remember SCANS, okay? SCANS, this is what everything stands for. Shape, color, arrangement, number, and symmetry. These are the properties of the shapes or the patterns we'll be looking at, right? Because abstract reasoning is all about patterns. So firstly, we need to look at the shape, right? We need to look at how many sides it has. We need to see if the shape changes. For example, I'll give you a pattern. It goes from circle to two lines to triangle to square, to pentagon, right? We see that shape is changing by adding one side every single time. That's a shape pattern. Then the color, why does it go from black dot to white dot to black dot? Basically, we need to look out for color after shape, all right? Then arrangement, what happens if these are like arrangement or angles, right? What happens if it goes from a small angle to a right angle? right to a obtuse angle what will the next one be we know it will be a straight angle okay the angle keeps getting bigger or maybe a different arrangement pattern is an arrow an arrow going from an arrow that goes from this to this to this so then the next one will just be the arrow going left right it's rotating clockwise those are our arrangement patterns then finally we have numbers number is like this what happens if you one line then two lines, then three lines, then four lines. What will the next one be? It will, of course, be five lines. That's our number patterns. Then finally, we have symmetry. Everyone know what symmetry means. Symmetry basically means... Um, it basically means... If I flip it over that line, will it be the exact same? Like, if I flip a square over this vertical line, it will still be the exact same, right? Imagine in your head, I take it off and I flip it over over this line, it'll still be the same. Or if I flip it over this line, it will still be the same. That's our symmetry, right? Basically, after that reasoning, at Everest will teach you more patterns, but for now, when I go through this exam, I want you guys to remember this, scans. So you can think about it in your head and go through it with me, all right? So, following on from the scan mnemonic, now that we're going to go through the exam, so here at Everest Tutoring, that's our name, so we'll start. So these are the two question types. The two question types are, what is the next image in the sequence, right? It'll be a pattern. We can look here. Remember um, number, right? The number of dots is increasing every single one. So we can assume to complete the pattern, it will be increasing one more time. So it'll be option A. Option B. This is the second question time, so, sorry, second question type, and it is complete the pattern, right? See how there's a pattern going this way? How this shape adds onto this shape to form a square. This side adds onto this side to form a circle. So this added onto a question mark from the triangle. See how there are three different patterns for every single row? That's the second question type. Of course, to complete the triangle, the shape we need to add on is this. So it's going to be option B. All right, now we begin. Okay, let's look. So the gray dot, let's immediately, let's look at the color, right? Remember scans, C, the C stands for color. Let's look at our colors. This gray one goes from the top to the this to this. So it's rotating clockwise, right? And then let's look here to confirm. This is going up, then it's going here, right? So the gray dot going here, so in our mystery image, the gray dot should continue going clockwise, so there. That means option A can't be the right answer immediately because this is process elimination, right? You can see that the gray square has to be in this top one. Okay. Let's see. This, now let's look at another one. The one with all these dots, see this one, this shape, this square does is the same in the third one and then here it's the same 
it doesn't move, right? Well, actually, it's trying to tell us that this this shape never moves. It stays there. The reason we can't see it in the second image is the gray dot, gray square goes on top of it. So we know that this square will stay the same forever. So that means this square must be in the same position in our mystery image, right? So that means we can cross out option C as the mystery, as this, um, the mystery image must have the square, the square with the polka dots in the top left. All right. Let's see. We can see the same for these white squares. These white squares don't actually move. Neither do these, um, neither do the stripes. They only go missing because the gray square goes on top of it, right? So let's see. This means there must be two white squares, right? Because these two white squares don't move from this image to this image. They don't move. That means in our mystery image, it must be two white squares. Hence, option B is wrong. And it must be option D. Let's continue with our mystery patterns. All right. So immediately we see there's three shapes for every single pattern. Okay. We see here that it goes from here to here. It gets flipped over the horizontal line, right? And then after that, it gets flipped over. Sorry, it gets flipped over the vertical line. Then it gets flipped over the horizontal line. Let's see if this is the same here. It gets flipped over vertically, right? From here to here, it gets flipped over vertically. Then from here to here, it got flipped over horizontally, right? Let's confirm this one more time. From here to here, you flipped it over vertically, which means to go from the second image to the mystery image, we have to flip it over horizontally. To flip it over horizontally means this white image will go up here, right? And this black image will come down here. So let's see. That means it must be option because see the white image gets flipped over and now it's at the top and then our black dot gets flipped over and now it's here all right let's look at the next one so in this pattern we see that this cross is going from here to here then from here it goes here so we know the cross moves anti-clockwise right the clock is going from here to here to here let's confirm that basically in these complete the patterns right we see we can confirm it by looking at the third and the second the first and the second row to get the pattern right let's see so the cross is moving here in this image is a star that's moving right so the star goes from here to here to here to here. So the star is going anti-clockwise. In this image, the shape that's going anti-clockwise is this weird star creature, right? Which means in our mystery image, it must go anti-clockwise one more position. So it must be here. That means it cannot be option A. We immediately cross option A. There's, then let's look at the second option. In the second thing, we see the circle becomes a the circle becomes a square which then becomes this shuriken shape so circle becomes square which becomes the shuriken circle becomes square which means in the next image it must be the shuriken that means we can cross out that means we can cross out option b right we can cross out option a from before that means we're left with option c or option d and then we cross out option d because it must be the shuriken Right? Because the shuriken must is the next shape after the shape. Oh, sorry, the next shape after the square. And only A or C have the shuriken. But A doesn't have this shape. Alright. Let's see here. In this shape, it seems like the heart every second see how the heart stays still heart staying here and then it moves clockwise by 90 degrees and then it stays still one more time right so we see that in the next movement it must go 90 degrees up because every second shape the heart every second see every second one every second shape the heart is going to move again okay so 
that means the heart should go up anti-clockwise one more by 90 degrees so it should be here that means we get rid of option a we get rid of option d so we're left with c or b then let's look at the next shapes that can move the next one that moves every second is this circle this circle every second one it moves right it moves clockwise so that means in the next image it should go this because it's already stayed still so now it's time to move and it should end up like this that means we cross out option b and we're left with option c hey guys Danathia from everest tutoring and before your exam tomorrow i just wanted to, to remind you guys to remember to stay calm don't let your nerves get the better of you you guys have all done the work you guys put in the time now just execution and on behalf of the entire everest tutoring team good luck make us proud you have all of our support Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this from Everest Tutoring.